Want to add a serious edge to your typography? In this tutorial, I'll teach you how to layer the ruffle effect in Adobe Illustrator to achieve a dynamic, distorted text effect. Start off with a type tool and drop some text onto the artboard. The font I'm using is a font called Cornero, and I've just filled it using the color black. Move the text towards the bottom of the artboard, and then we want to duplicate the text four times, so we have a total of five copies. And the way you can do that is by holding down the Alt, click and then select the Shift key and create one duplicate and then press the Control D shortcut which is Transform again to create the other copies. Drag a selection around all of the text layers and then horizontally and vertically centre everything within the artboard. While everything's still selected, go to Object Group and group everything together and then swap the solid fill for a stroke fill. Repeat the process again. So move the group to the bottom of the artboard, hold down the Alt key and the Shift key, click and drag a duplicate, and then press Ctrl D another three times so we get five instances of that text layer. Next, we're gonna select each text layer or each group, and then we're gonna adjust the stroke thickness. So the layer that sits at the bottom, and it should be at the bottom of the layer stack, we wanna change the stroke weight to 0.25, and then select the second group, which should be the second one from the bottom, and then we wanna change that to 0.5, and then continue up in 0.25 increments, so 0.75, one, and then 1.25. Next, we're gonna adjust the colors of each stroke, again, starting with the bottom one. We're gonna select the layer and then select the stroke fill. And then using the eyedropper tool and the shift key, I'm just gonna color pick each one of these colors. You might want to pause the video and just set up these color swatches so you can color pick them as well. And then just so we can see everything, I'm going to select the rectangle tool and create a rectangle which covers my artboard. My artboard size is 1920 by 1080. And I'm just gonna fill it with the color black. Right click and go to arrange center back. And then I'm just gonna lock that in place to stop it from moving. We're now going to apply the rough and effect. And we wanna start off with the layer that's at the very, very bottom. And then go to effect. Distort and transform and then select roughen and then we want to start off with something around 70% with the relative selected and the detail to about 5 and then we can leave it as corner and then just press OK and then select the next one and go to effect and then just select the roughen from the top and then we just want to switch that down to about 50% select the next one effect roughen and then we want to change that one down to about 30 and then select the next one, and then go to Effect, Roughen. We want to use a relatively low number, something like five, and then press OK. And then for the final one, we're just going to leave and not apply the Roughen effect. This is just to make the text stand out a little bit better. Once you've finished adding all the effects, make a selection around everything again, and then select the horizontal and vertically center on the artboard. And then all that's left to do is basically just resize this up. But before we resize it up, we just want to go to Object, transform scale and make sure that we untick the scale stroke and effects and then press OK and then just scale that up as big as you need it to be. You can also continue to change the font if you're not happy with the font. Simply select everything and then just go through your font list and the effect will automatically update. And that's how you can create this unique distorted typography effect by stacking the roughen effect in Adobe Illustrator. I hope you found this tutorial helpful and that you're ready to experiment with this technique in your own projects. If you enjoyed the video, don't forget to give it a thumbs up and consider subscribing for more Illustrator tips and tricks. Drop me a comment below if you have any questions or if there's something specific you'd like me to cover in any future videos. Thanks for watching and I'll see you all in the next one.